Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got Boone's Boat. Actually, that sounds like I've told you I have some like rare disease. I don't. This is Boone's Boat from Raya and the Last Dragon. It is such a weird set to have for a Disney princess build, but I am totally on board with this. So this has got 247 pieces. It is Disney priced. So here in Australia, it's $80. It's got, it's got these stupid tabs in it again. I thought we had got past this. And anyway, oh, gold canoe. Nice. I think that's a new thing. Well, I mean, not the canoe, the gold part. All right, so two bags, not a lot of Lego for your money. Very nice stickers, though. These these rare sets are just such a breath of fresh air to build for Lego that's aimed at the, the girl eye, the female eye. Now, this is one of the main reasons to get this set. It's the only one so far that includes Sisu, said the dragon in her human form. And she is perfectly raggedy as a mini doll. She's got her grey leggings and her, her, nice, her nice warm blue tunicky dress thing with the fluff around the top. I love the fact that the skirt's printed with a patch. The back is also printed, but there's a little bit of dodginess going on up around the neck. But, you know, the rest of it is amazing. Ah, and her face. Oh my gosh, there's so much. It's just the perfect character of crazy happiness. And she's even got the little pointy kind of dragony teeth on the side. She has the purple hair, the lavender hair that you also see in the mall, but it's it really is just so right for Sisu. This mini doll is awesome. All of the Raya mini dolls so far knocked out of the park. I just love their design, but we're not done yet. This set also has second mini doll. My goodness, we get another boy. Thank heavens, we need some more boys in mini dolls and fantastic pants with printing on the front here. This is Boone, it's his boat. <gasps> That's the boy torso, but I think this is the first time I've seen the boy torso in the new design with that um, closed in inside panel -y bit and that's because he's printed all the way around the back such a perfect replica of his outfit from the movie. His head is also really, oh, it's so cute. It's just, it's... <laughs> It's good. I, I don't have enough describing words for this. I think he looks really, really good in mini doll form. I do have one issue though. He's a kid and like he's he's decidedly smaller than everybody else. He would be what, like 12, 13? But he's small for his age. But as a mini doll, he's the same size as everybody else. It just doesn't work for me. This is why Lego, come on, we need, we need the little we need smaller articulated mini dolls do it but there are also monkeys the three monkeys in here <laughs> they look like they're the, the see no evil speak no evil hear no evil monkeys so they're not really <laughs> they are awesome these are so great so this is the cranky i've seen all the evil monkey <laughs> all the evil and i'm not amused monkey got that new little piece like that thing sticking out of his hat which you can use for flowers so we've got three individual molds for the monkeys, three different styles, and an infinite amount of awesomeness. Oh, this is such a great amount of characters to come in one single set. That might actually have something to do with the uh, with the price the price point. Maybe it's not just the fact that you know it's got a Disney surcharge on it. We have got unique characters in this set. Anyway, onto the canoe, which is gold, which is a new color for the canoe. Stickers on it because this is one of those little, you know, the little boats that are selling goods straight off the river. There's a bucket. No, that's a barrel on the back. And we've got a seating inside. And this is, it's the banana boat. Yeah, I, I remember a song. I like that. I'm not going to sing it. Uh, and yep, yeah, so this is uh, the flag, which has got the bananas on it. So you can see from a distance, that's where the bananas are being sold. So I have to row all the way over to the banana boat and get my bananas, my daily supply of bananas. Oh my goodness, this is obviously for the monkeys. It's a banana boat, right? <laughs> for the monkeys, it's their boat. Okay, but we do get a single oar here. So we, we can't sit a mini doll down in here. They can stand up so they can actually ferry it along with the oar, but it really is for the monkeys. So let's stack them. Let's play a stack of monkeys. Ah, cranky monkey on the top. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, all right, focusing back in. But the monkeys, no, back in on the focus. Okay, so 
This is obviously a floating market style themed thing like you have in Vietnam where you can come in and get all of your daily fresh merch and, well not merch, it kind of has a different meaning these days, but merchandise, your fresh goods, let's go with fresh goods. And this is where Boone's boat is, where it originates from, or where he hangs out the most. But this is not a boat, obviously, this is part of the, the docks part where we get, oh, yeah, merch, merchandise, merchandise, goods. What sort of merch? What sort of merch are we selling here? Is it t-shirts? <laughs> no, it is not. It's eatable stuff. I can see dragon fruit there on the plate on the sticker, a big colorful pennant over the top to attract the eye and to drag the customers in. Well, drag's probably the wrong word, but to entice the customers to come in and to buy the goods. I'm not sure what this is. Does this, do they bob for apples? Why am I thinking of apple bobbing? Was that a different movie? Do they bob for apples? Are these even apples? I don't even know that they're apples. Anyway, there is some foliage, some nice pink foliage, uh, because of course it's pink foliage, but it actually works. It works very, very nicely for the color scheme of this whole build. So I'm totally happy to have pink foliage with coral flowers on it. This little thing that could have been a drum is actually a bowl of whatever those things are. I just don't know whether they, are they shrimp, I don't know, floating in stew. Uh, and an orange fish, a blue fish, another blue fish in the barrel. And uh, yeah, this is your fishmonger. This is where you come to get your fish. Though that looks kind of like, it. Uh, is that like the fighting fish? <laughs> it looks a bit like those fighting fish that can only live by themselves because they are, they fight the other fish to death. <laughs> it's probably some other breed of fish. I, I don't know enough about fish to really know. But it looks like the fighting fish. Oh, the Siamese fighting fish. That's what it looks like to me. All right, moving on from that now. So we have got the floating docks, which we've just knocked poor, uh, poor Boone over with. Now we get to build his boat, his prawn boat. It's got a massive prawn on the top, which I just love. Uh, but we've got to build the boat first before we can get to the prawn. <laughs> Though prawns are kind of creepy when you look at them with their little, like, tentacly things out the front and the big beady black eyes and I've peeled enough prawns to know that I really don't like peeling prawns. Right, we are at the end of that first bag while I got a bit bit scared about prawns. We're now on to bag number two and we're gonna get this prawn boat happening and this is actually quite a, 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 not complex but it's definitely a build with a lot of interesting stuff going on and a lot of interesting building going on to make a very distinctly styled boat for Boone. Boone's boat. Boone's boat which is not a disease. Okay we have some clips here on the back or the front whichever this this end is going to be and some steps up to some jumper studs. These are new colors so turquoise here for this this uh this peaked arch with stickers on the side which make it like all wickery looking and rusticky boaty like because that's a descriptor <laughs> and these black bits going outside i oh i know what they're for we can find out in a moment but we need to strap them down with these slopey pieces there's a hatch here so you can put your fresh shrimp down here under the hatch or your valuables this is the little prawns on the side, the little shrimps on the side with the recolored croissant. The croissant's now in that orangey yellow color. Another one of these bowls of, I don't know what it is, bobbing apples, which would be totally culturally incorrect. Probably a stew of some sort. Teapot on this side. You can tell me in the comments. Please tell me in the comments if you know what that, that thing is. Very, very nice cushiony bit, maybe. I think that looks like a cushion. A box with a star in it. And on the lid of the star, we've got a the lid of the star, lid of the box with the star in it, there's a prawn. So is the star a prawn? Why is there a star in the prawn box? I get very confused. This is nice too. I just, there is so many awesome patterns going on here, which is exactly what it should look like. Another one of these big arches with a sign on one side so that we know that this is where you come to get your shrimp. Shrimp of all shapes and sizes and deliciousness. <laughs> deliciousness. Ah. Uh, Okay, what do we have? Lots of green and more green stickery leaf thing. It is, oh, okay. It is a random crate of 
green and coral things, which is very probably something, but it looks fantastic and I don't know what it is, but it looks fantastic all in the crate and we get the hatch here. So these are all very, very nicely positioned on top of the hatch, but they don't obscure anything when you put it up, which is really cool. This and has got a bucket with another star in it. What? Oh no, there's the star. Is it star fruit? Why would he have star fruit? I don't know. Are they starfish? You don't fish for starfish in in rivers. I don't know what they are. It's breaking me. We got a prawn sign on the front. So this is where you come. Come and get your fresh prawn here. I've got the stick for making the boat go or the boat stop or just for steering the boat. And now we get to get to the shrimp. <laughs> we get to get to the shrimp bit on the top. This looks fantastic. It's really such a great design. There is nothing else like this out there in the mini doll world. I think I mean, there was this kind of a shrimp boat in the hidden side theme. No, there's a shrimp shrack, shrimp shrack, a shrimp shack. So that's entirely different. Here is the top part of the shrimp and the shrimp boat with some patchy stickers on it for stickery patchiness and some clamshells. Also, I think they're a recolor, a new recolor for that. Clamshell for one and that's the shrimp's tail. These are the shrimp's disgusting, meaty eyes. And I mean, it's a living thing. It's wonderful, but I their little beady eyes and their little tentacly antennae things out the front. <laughs> I hate peeling prawns so much. I do like prawns though. So, you know, you have to, you have to put up with the, the things to have the things. Okay. On the back, we have these bits, which just make the design right for what it's supposed to look like. I don't even know what you would call those parts, but they just make it look absolutely perfect for the ethnic style that the designers are going for. And right here at the end of the build, just randomly throw in the printed piece with the dragon map on it that we also had in the other Raya set, the, uh, the Heart Palace. Uh, so maybe it's included in all the Raya sets, but I don't actually know. Don't quote me on that. And not sure why it's just thrown in at the end, but it's here. So there we go. We're at the end. We built it. It's done. And build it is not good English, but that's all right. I'm sticking with that. Okay, great set. I uh, don't really like the price, but I do understand why it is so expensive. Get it on, get it on sale at some stage. I think you will really like this one. It's very different. Okay, I'll see you with another video very soon. Subscribe to all the things. Okay, bye.